Here we have the EA700. This is a specialist adhesive specifically designed for bonding and repairing epoxy tooling board. Now it is perfectly matched to our EB700 board, meaning that once it's fully cured, it's going to machine, sand and finish in just the same way as the board itself, leaving you with almost seamless joints. This will allow you to create patterns that are larger than a single board or to create stocks that are close to the final pattern shape. And in doing this, you're going to save not only on board, but also on machining time. In order to get these prepared, the first step in the process is to accurately and squarely cut the stock material. This is done on a panel saw based on some CAD drawings. Blocking out in this way allows for much greater efficiency, not only in tooling board wastage, but also in machining time compared to a simple cuboid stock. With the blocks prepared, the adhesive is accurately weighed and then thoroughly mixed with its hardener. It's then applied to the board at approximately 250 grams per square meter. A fine notch spreader should be used to ensure that you get a good, even coverage. Depending on ambient temperature, EA700 has a pot life of around 30 minutes. So you should ensure that you only mix an amount that you can use in that time. The blocks are then positioned together by firmly pressing them in place. In most situations, some positive pressure should be used to press the boards together during cure. This can be achieved using either clamps, press or vacuum bagging. When using clamps, use multiple evenly spaced clamps and try to ensure even pressure across the board. Vacuum bagging is an excellent way to apply even pressure, but you will need to reduce the vacuum level using a regulator to avoid applying too much pressure and squeezing out the adhesive. I would suggest around 50% vacuum to be appropriate. When you're happy with the positioning, the assembly should be left for around 16 hours at room temperature to cure. Prior to using the patterns at elevated temperature, the adhesive should be post-cured to ensure its full TG is achieved. This is going to be four hours at 80 degrees C for most low temperature tooling prepregs, or it can be followed by a further four hours at 120 degrees C if a service temperature of 120 is needed. For best results, it is preferable to perform the post cure prior to machining. As the adhesive matches the machinability of the board, the machining, sanding, and sealing is all done conventionally from here. The other important and very useful application of the EA700 is as a repair paste to fill damage caused to patterns during overly enthusiastic demolding or a phantom CNC toolpath. This is simply a case of mixing and applying the adhesive to the area slightly proud of the surface. It should then be allowed to cure before being sanded back in flush. Remember that if you do use the paste to make any repairs like this, it will need to be post cured prior to use at elevated temperature. I hope this gives you a good understanding of both the uses and processing of the EA700. Please do refer to both the technical and the safety data sheets for important up-to-date information on both the processing and the safety on this product. If you do have any questions left at all, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical team who will be more than happy to help.